Hey guys, this is Master Raw here. This is a big deal. I'm going to hopefully teach you how to improve your warband mods to where they stop crashing. We all know we're, we all know what I'm talking about. The World of Ice and Fire, uh, Persistent Lord of the Rings, even like uh, Perizno and stuff. They have this memory crash. Somebody has developed Warband Script Enhancer 2. Okay, I know what the WSE was in the past, and I thought that that's what this was, but this is not. So this is basically, it's right here. You can read along with me. What's the difference, or what is the Warband Script Enhancer 2? It tells you right here. It's a game engine, and it's compatible with all, all the modules that I've used it on, all the mods. So for years now, World of Ice and Fire has been plagued by crashes, performance issues, everything in your, the quality of your PC doesn't matter. You know, it's the flipping, it's the game engine. You know, that's what's what's going on. So I've been using this for the last day and a half and it works. I've used it on the sub mod, you know, 5.0 for World of Ice and Fire. I used it for Persistent Lord of the Rings, the MMO Lord of the Rings mod. Check, download that. Those guys are really cool and they need more players. And then of course, a World of Ice and Fire. The first time that I used it on World of Ice and Fire 8.1, I got a little bit of a black screen. I restarted and it was good to go. So this is like using a different module. So you'll have to switch over your saves. You know, you have to go into your documents and grab the save from whatever mod you're wanting to play and then put it into the Warband Script Enhancer too, because this is going to go into your Warband folder, not your module. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and download it. I'm going to download WSE2. This is 1.0.7.3. So that's what I'm going to grab. It's going to take me to this place. We're going to go ahead and hit the download button on that. It wants me to sign in for some reason. I don't know why. Last time it didn't make me sign in. All right, it's downloading it. Groovy. <laughs> you don't have to make an account for that. All right, so as that's downloading, it should be super, super quick. We're going to go ahead and open up our downloads folder. That is by default. So unless you've changed something, this is where the WSE2 is going to be. Next thing we need to do is extract it. I use WinRAR. You can use 7-Zip or whatever. I'm going to link WinRAR's website. It's free to use. They ask you to give them a little bit of money. It's up to you. But go ahead and extract it here. I always extract here so I can get eyes on whatever I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, what is that unconfirmed thing? I don't know. Who cares? Extract here. Boom. All right, it's going to extract a bunch of files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control all, but I don't need that file. So I control click that file and then I'm going to copy. So that is control C or in your case, you can right click or whatever. Then I'm going to go to my warband folder, which is right here. If you use Steam, it's going to be on this PC, local C, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Mount Blade warband. Where you put your mods is in the folder called modules. That is not where this is going to go. This is going to go right here. So you can either control V, control victory it to paste all those files here or drag and drop. It's up to you. If you want to drag and drop, all you have to do is grab your downloads folder, that folder, hit this, hit control all. I don't want to put that in there, but it wouldn't matter if I did. And then throw it in here. I've already done this, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I do it. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to have something called a WSE2 launcher. When you want to play a mod or even Warband with the with WSE2, this is the launcher you have to use. Create a shortcut, put it on your desktop. If you're having problems with it or you don't want to use the WSE2 uh, engine to run your games, you can just go back and use your regular application Um icon right there the one that you play through steam so if you launch it through steam or on desktop that's how it's going to work so i'm going to show you what it looks like when you use the wsc2 launcher because the other cool thing about this is it gives you a lot of options that you would not normally have in a warband mod like field of view options sunlight options all types of weird things that you could just play around with so let's go ahead and open this i'm going to use a world of ice and fire 8.1 because that's the one that i've played the most that's the one that i work with you know the, the developer Produno. And that's the one that's had massive crashing issues for the last two, three years. So as you can see, I've got a new launcher window here. It says play Mountain Blade Warband with WSE2. We're going to do that. You can also go into the option and it has some of the base options, but it's also got new stuff like oculation, audio oculation is a new one. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're still going to load textures on demand, of course. Uh, that's just Warband 101. So what you're going to notice is this game is going to load a world of ice and fire a lot faster than it normally would like normally this would take a little while and i've got a brand new pc 
And then before this PC, I had a pretty good PC and it didn't matter when it came to, you know, World of Ice and Fire, Persistent Lord of the Rings and some other big mods that have uh, crashing issues. Because um, what's going on is it's, it's, it's surpassing the memory that Warband was designed to utilize. And that's why we're getting the uh, CT key or crash to desktop. As you can see there, this loaded up super fast. Now, when you first go to load up your game, you're not going to have your saves, right? So you're going to have to either copy paste your saves from the original module folder and put it into this one or just start a new game. You know, like I've just got these two test saves here. So I'm going to go ahead and load it. And I was also playing with a battle size of 750, which is never recommended, but I was getting like 50 frames per second on a siege with max graphics, by the way. So let me show you, go to options. You're going to see that it's a little bit different. Like we've got field of view options. We have uh, video options like um, uh, post-processing, entroscopic, font scale, you know, uh, all types of cool stuff, man. You can play with all this. I'm all I'm maxed out. I haven't played this mod. I'm maxed out in years because I was trying to prevent that crash from the memory, uh, surpassing the memory. But no matter how low you put your settings, it would crash after so long. But as you can see here, I've got I've got it at 90, but you could peg it at 300 if you have a semi-modern PC and just run around with 300 FPS if you want. But as you can see here, this is max graphics. It's running extremely well. I'm not going to sit here and, and play the game. Just trust me on this. Um, but let me know how WSE2 works for you. I've tried it with 1257 Enhanced. I've tried it with this. I've tried it with Persistent Lord of the Rings. I learned about it by the Persistent Lord of the Rings community. Uh, but I plan on trying it with everything, you know, uh, Gecko Kuya, all of it. Because even if you don't have a crash to desktop, it improves performance across the board. I've got like a 3070, you know, I've got a tension, badass CPU. I've got an uh, M.2 SSD that I put everything on. But good luck, guys, man. This might be the this might be the savior of, of Warband mods like we've been waiting for. Just let me know your experiences down below, please. You know, I don't care about how many views my video gets. I just want to know people's experiences now it, it's warned that this doesn't work for all mods and not and it doesn't work for all people for whatever reason hopefully we'll be able to figure that out over the coming like weeks or months or whatever but man this thing could be a savior let me know how it goes with your crashing all that kind of stuff all right guys enjoy your mods take care man warband will never die <laughs> so good